Boosie drops her son off at crash before she goes to school. She can't explain why she didn't put what she knew about safe sex into practice. Being pregnant at the age of 16, it's not a pretty good thing. It's not like your life is falling apart, but then it's something else, because you're no more behaving the way you were behaving. You're no more younger anymore. Her boyfriend helps when he can, but the main burden is on her. It's the kind of gender stereotype researchers are warning about in the Global Early Adolescent Study. Researchers interviewed hundreds of young people in 15 countries and found that regardless of where you live, the ages of 10 to 14 are the key years to address gender stereotypes. Otherwise, they become cemented, increasing the risks of a wide range of health issues, including depression, HIV, child marriage, teen pregnancy, even suicide. Across the world, most sex education and life skills classes begin at 15 years and older. But this research says that's too late. And that has important implications to how governments fund and when they introduce education meant to break down gender stereotypes. I am a young person and I love sex. The study adds to a body of evidence that's prompted South Africa's government to suggest next year it will lower the age at which sex education starts. That's welcome news to writers at the Girls Talk website, a forum for gender issues. A guy would come to you and when he gets to you, he's the one who teaches you things about sex. You are the one going in there like a deer caught in headlights. If we teach young women from an early age that this is your body, you need to own your body, this is what happens when you're having sex and you know, you can also contribute, you can also say no, you can, you know, things can go your way, not necessarily his way. But changing stereotypes is an enormous challenge. From a very early age, and every institution, so whether it's the religious institutions you attend, the schools you attend, your families, every institution is kind of reinforcing um, these very gendered um, stereotypes. Busi hopes to teach her son that boys and girls are equal. She's trying to set a good example by continuing her education, although she may always be the only full-time parent in his life. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.